We start our tour today in famous Dalian town of Turkey, on the west coast of Turkey. Uh, 1st of July 2021, we're here with Steve Parsley again. So uh, he has joined us again in one of our, our videos. So we like to show all our friends and audience and the, our followers and our YouTube channel uh, what Dalian has to offer. Shortly we will be on one of those beautiful boats to take a river boat trip uh, to entire uh, Dalian River, famous rock tombs and some of the other attractions in Dalian we like to show you and then follow by and perhaps uh, we can visit one of our properties in Dalian uh, just to offer our clients, our browsers what Dalian property market has to offer. So. What do you know about Dalian, uh, Steve? I mean, you, you visited Dalian before, yes, but uh, many times, haven't I've, you? I visited as a tourist, yeah. Um, yeah. and it's somewhere that my family loves to come. Yeah. Um, obviously, as you say, for a day trip out, you have the boats, you have the uh, 30, 35 minute trip um, on the boats down to Iztuzu Beach, which is well known locally as a nesting ground for loggerhead and green turtles. Um, if you want to, you can also visit the Turtle Hospital, uh, where injured turtles are treated and then later released. Um, so that there's a lot to see here, but as far as property is concerned, the only thing I see a property really is, is when you're walking around town, just what you can see by peeping over people's walls. But um, uh, as a buyer, if I was interested in buying property, why would I want to buy in Dalian? Well, the Dalian property market is extremely vibrant. I mean, it's always been popular by as well as the local Turkish buyers. And we've been getting a lot of British buyers and the Scandinavians, Europeans, they all love to have a, a piece of Dalian. And, they, mm. and initially it has started as a, a simple place in the sun and they just wanted to enjoy the attractions in Dalian. But then it became more and more popular. And then of course the, the tourism has became uh, extremely vibrant and the, the property market became an investment market and the most properties in Dalian they also achieve uh, quite a high rental yields okay. especially on the mm -hmm. summer rental season so and if you were to go back probably 10 years ago most buyers they would buy a simple three four bedroom villa in Dalian with a nice private pool they use it for a couple of months a year and they just basically close the shop and they go back to their own country mm. but these days you will find majority of the buyers they will also want to get some rental income from their property. So that's why, uh, and I think, not just purely as a buy to let, but it's a great income earner, basically. Yeah. I've heard that Dalian property is a little bit more expensive. Is, is that true or is it reasonably priced still? Well, I think the prices are still reasonably priced. I mean, this particular year, 2021, has been a quite a challenging year, mm. especially after the, of course, the so-called epidemic, pandemic, mm. which has badly affected most countries around the world. And, the, and Turkey is also taken a toll from the pandemic. But what we have seen in the past 12, 18 months is, especially a lot of Turkish people live in the large cities of Turkey. They have been uh, traveling and they've been seeking uh, coastal properties, detached homes, to be away from the busy crowded apartments, mm -hmm. busy crowded living. So that has uh, caused an impact of demand towards housing. And that's probably comparing to 2019, we have seen prices arisen uh, between 50 to 60% or even more, in the, especially in the Dalian. An entire Aegean coast, which you know we've done mm -hmm. various other videos, as you know with you. So, um, and this is why, I mean, for example, a couple of years ago, you could have purchased a four bedroom villa with a private pool in Dalian, uh, perhaps in the region of uh, 230, 240,000 US dollars. The very same property now, these days, you're talking about around 300, 320,000 mm. dollars. So there is a, a significant increase on prices. But then again, this is purely of the supply and demand of the market. Yeah. So, um, with so much demand, um, is it fair to say that supply is keeping up, that, 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 that you will still have a, a good choice of villas to look at in Dalian? Absolutely, absolutely. And, and the markets are always dictated by local buyers, or Turkish buyers. And the, uh, and the Turkish people, they love to enjoy a uh, piece of their country, they love their holidays. And 
Turkish people they also love to buy a holiday home and Turkish people they also like to have a holiday rental property so it works both ways basically Steve yeah. okay so yeah. we can enjoy a coffee and then absolutely you can, I and mean come on we have to enjoy this beautiful <laughs> Turkish coffee well, while yes. we're doing that you can try and perhaps persuade me to buy a house in <laughs> maybe maybe why not half yet also enjoy your coffee <laughs> starting our boat trip in Dalian so let's get you into our boat here in Dalian this is our captain of the day so he's gonna be taking us around Right, so uh, we are on a famous boat trip here in the Dalian River. So Steve, uh, literally right behind us, the very famous Dalian's rock tombs. And I think you were telling me about the history of the rock tombs before, weren't you? Yeah, I'm, of course, I'm by no means an expert, but from what I remember from previous tours that I've been on here, uh, these are uh, tombs that date back to 4 BC, so 400 years before Christ, and they were part of uh, a Lycian city. Um, and then uh, after that, I believe the, um, uh, the, the city became known as Konos uh, in, in a Greek era. Um, and um, what we're, we're actually floating on is, is the, an area of the city which would have been port. This was an area well known for cotton, I believe. Uh, and then well, once the, uh, uh, the Turks took over the Anatolian Peninsula, this city um, died out after an epidemic and was abandoned. So all that's really left are the rock tombs. Very interesting, very interesting. So the actual, um, the, the river um, of Dalian here, so it will take us from the famous Istuza beach and up to all the way to Kojes. And apparently it's about 44, 45 minutes a boat ride and the, on this particular boat here so basically when we have anyone visiting Dalian or any clients uh, they would like to look at potential property investments it's, we always welcome clients we take them on the boat boat ride here so people are love it I mean I do it year after year so I always feel the same excitement every year basically pretty much so. I'm looking forward to it <laughs> <laughs> After our boat trip today in Dalian, we decided best to pick up some energy and uh, enjoy this beautiful, authentic restaurant to uh, have some little meze dishes to um, have some lunch. Uh, what do you think? Is it a good idea, Steve? Well, I think so, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, after that boat trip. No, I'm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to object, I'm going to. No, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So let's enjoy our little meze dishes. Indeed. And then, and of course, uh, we can carry on uh, enjoying the Dalian, basically. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Why not? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, when in Dalian, we thought we might as well present you one of our showcase homes here, um, here in Dalian, very close to Dalian Town Centre. This beautiful six bedroom home with the beautiful swimming pool. So this is the side entrance. Let us show you. So just come and see us. Come and see us. This is the um, entrance of the property here. This lovely six bedroom, all and suite bathroom home offers something for everyone, whether it is your permanent living home in Dalian or perhaps as a home that you can use it as a holiday home. So that's uh, pretty much what Dalian has to offer everyone. So let us show you inside the home. So come and have a good look. <laughs> <laughs> 